Now, a communication expert, Dr. Nero Malaulu, has attributed a series of challenges facing Nigeria as a nation to bad policies by different military regimes that had ruled the country between January 1966 and 2009. Malaulu, who stated this while delivering a keynote address at the second edition of the Kunle Ulubode Lecture Series in Abekuta, Ogun State Capital, speaking on the theme, Democracy, Values, System, and the Building of a New Society, the guest speaker noted that Nigerians have had to endure disastrous economic politics and a social turbulence of the military rules. He lamented that elections and democracy in Nigeria is replated with political toggery, ballot stuffing, and ballot snatching, and other forms of electoral malpractice. While stressing that the current presidential system of government in Nigeria is too expensive, the communication experts said it must be jettisoned by the parliamentary system, posting that it will enhance the national growth. The current expenditure is too huge to be sustainable. A society that considers spend over 70% of its earnings on current recurring expenditure is bound to collapse sooner than later. Three, government has no business in business. The business of government should be regulatory, providing what is called enabling environment to the private sector to thrive and be the main driver of economic activities. There's an urgent need to invest in a new national grid that will operate on a regional basis. The one you have now that is collapsing every other day is nothing but a national embarrassment. And on his part, the state chairman of the Nigerian Institute of Estate Surveillers and Valuers, Bola Rekoya, called on government and other stakeholders to start engaging professionals when it comes to estate matters and property valuation. Government um, employed the services of estate surveyors and valuers, especially in the land-related um, uh, ministries like uh, Bureau of Lands and Survey, like uh, Ogun State Property Investment and Corporation, like uh, Ogun State Housing Corporation. But we want them to do more. Uh, we want them to employ more of our professionals to help them in the management of land uh, resources uh, that Ogun State is endowed with. And again, of course, in the facility management, uh, we have many of the uh, malls, many of government public uh, buildings and facilities that um, are not up to five years, seven years old. And they are moribund, they are dilapidated because they are, they are being run or managed by quacks or, you know, politicians. We are using this medium to advise the government of the day that uh, they should look in the direction of professional estates of bills and valuers to manage this facility for them. Now, for even development in the country, government has been urged to provide enabling environment for the private sector to thrive. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.